Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at the house by the side of the road in Wilton. And we're getting dirty today, Margaret Hagen from the UNH Cooperative we are. Extension, aren't we? We're talking repotting. Repotting, because it's spring and your house plants start to grow more actively in spring, so it's a great time to shift up plants that are too tight in their pots. And how do you know if a plant is ready for a new home? <laughs> well, one key is if you get roots growing out of the bottom of the drainage holes. That tells you that it's pot bound. Another, as you can see, this spider plant is pushing itself out of the pot. That's another really good clue. <laughs> Looking for more square footage here. Yes, it is. And you have a couple of options here. I uh, do. Okay. If you don't like to water very often, um, plastic might be a good option for you. For spider plants that tend to get really big, I like hanging baskets, which is what that could be turned into. I see. Okay. Yeah. And then the other option, this is a terracotta, right? Right, or a clay pot. If you tend to overwater a little bit and you need something that's forgiving, the clay pot will evaporate moisture a little bit. Plus, it's heavier, so you're less likely to knock it over if you're a klutz <laughs> like me. Okay, and a decorative option here? And a decorative option here would be a ceramic pot or something similar to that. So the first thing you want to do um, is water it. You can see this plant's a little bit moist. About an hour before you're going to shift it up, you want to plant it. And once you've picked out or water it, about an hour before you want to shift it, you want to water it. <laughs> um, you want to pick a pot that has a drainage hole. Okay. And you can cover that drainage hole with either coffee um, filter part of it or a little piece of paper towel just so the soil doesn't wash out. And I like to moisten my potting mix just a little bit because it's easier to work with. But a soilless potting mix like this one is ideal. It has a little bit of bark, a little bit of peat, um, some perlite, maybe a few other things. Why can't we use dirt right out of the ground, Margaret? Because it's too heavy and your plant won't do well. Okay. So and this is sort of a classic segment you do for Grow It Green often because you say people make mistakes a, repotting. They do. They tend to. So you want to put some soil in the bottom of your pot. Okay. And then you Sorry. pick up your pot and turn it over with your fingers around the stems and just tap it a few times and bring it out. Wow. Yeah, and you can see that this is very pot bound. So you might actually want to tease some of that top dirt and the roots apart a little bit before you plant it. It goes in the pot and you want to make sure there's a good inch to half inch of, t of space at the top to put your water in after you're through potting it. So do not pot to the top. That's probably the most common mistake. Um, and and then, you wouldn't break up that root base at all? Um, this root base, because it, that's all it is, is roots, I probably wouldn't in this case. I might tease it a little bit. If it was a really tight root system like it is here, then I would use a box cutter. But because the roots are so big on this plant, I wouldn't. But a really tight root system like this, I might make three or four cuts. And okay. then it goes in the pot, and you finish filling it, leaving that inch. And you just need to water it in. And the pot should be an inch to two inches bigger, but no more than that. And that's a little bit of a shock to the system. So uh, do you not fertilize right away? Do you let you it know, get settled in? I'd probably wait maybe a month to fertilize. Yeah. Okay. All right. Margaret Hagen, for more information about repotting your house plants, head on over to the UNH Cooperative Extension website or the 800 number on your screen, and we'll be right back.